In this video, we're gonna use a really great tool to do green screen on the iPhone or the iPad. Now the app that you want is called Green Screen and you can get that from the App Store. Now I've got it here on my phone, so what you need to do is open the app. Now when you open the app for the first time, you're gonna see the sample project there. So we're just gonna ignore that for now and I'm just gonna talk you through some of the settings within this screen. So at the top here, you've got the question mark. So if you click on the question mark, that's gonna give you lots of tutorials on how to use the green screen by doing. And now we're gonna to go to the cog next to the question mark and click on this. And this is gonna give us some settings. So what preferred resolution do we want? Now I tend to record at 1080p because it gives me the best resolution, but you can equally record at 720p and 640 by 480. And it's asking you there also which camera you'd like to use, whether you want to use the back or the front camera. For this particular demonstration, I'm gonna use the front camera. And then you've got this option of image duration. I set this to unlimited, so it will go on for as long as I want it to, but you could set that to a different level if you wanted to. And finally, the live broadcasting. You can enable live broadcasting by clicking that over, and that enables you to actually live broadcast some of the green screen that you're doing. We're gonna leave it off at the moment because we don't want to actually live broadcast. And then you can click done. Now it's worth bearing in mind when you're doing this on an iPhone or an iPad, it looks slightly different because the iPad screen is actually much bigger. I'm actually doing this on an iPhone at the moment because it's easier for me to actually record the green screen, but it will be the same features on an iPad, but just slightly different set out on the screen. So first of all, what we're going to do is click on the plus key in the corner. So let's click on plus. That's gonna ask us whether we want to create a new project, import one, or cancel. Let's create a new one. Now we're gonna get a black screen. We've got lots of different options on here. This icon in the corner here allows me to expand the timeline. So we're gonna click on that. So we've got the three pluses, because we're gonna put three different tracks in this video. So the first thing we're gonna do is import our first track. Now on the right here, you've got the three pluses for your different tracks. Now, the way this works, what you need to do is think about the layers. So we want to put the background on first. So we need to put that in first. So we're gonna click on the first plus in the bottom corner. All right, it goes blue. That's the plus that we want to use. And then we can click it again to ask us what we want to actually import. Now we want to import an image. Now the first time you do this, the app will ask if it can allow the photos to be accessed by the app. You just accept that and then you'll see this screen. Now we're gonna click on and find the photo that we want to use. So I'm gonna to go to recently added and here is an image of a blackboard. So I want to use that and there's my image. Now what I can do is pinch and, and expand it if I want to, but I'm just going to leave that and undo that. And you can undo by clicking on the right angled arrow on the right hand side here. Now what you can see here that this is imported a very, very long image. Now we don't want it this long. Let's, uh, let's reduce it down to about 20 seconds so we can click on the image and then it's gonna give you these options at the bottom, trim, cut, copy, paste and delete. We want to trim to that point now. Now we can make it longer if we want to by clicking on the, the square there and then just dragging it along to make it a longer length. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. So we've put our background in and now I want to add another track. So I'm going to click the second plus in the corner here. It will go blue and then you click it again and it will bring up this menu. We're gonna choose video this time. Then I'm gonna scroll down to one of my videos that I want to use. I'm going to use a living picture and then choose the living picture that I want. There it is and then use. Now that has inserted it above my background. So what I can do is I can click the image and I can pinch it and I can put it where I want it. So I'm gonna put it in the corner here like so. Okay, so there's my image. All right, so I can watch it from the beginning now. Okay, so my video has begun. Now, the final part of this is putting in the green screen. Before I add the last part, I just want to tidy a few things up. So let's take this background and trim it to the end of the video. All right, so I'm gonna click on the video and then click trim. 
Now the video and the background are the same length. So I need to make sure when I stand in front of the camera that my recording is about nine seconds long. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Now I'm gonna click the third plus in my video. I've got a green screen up in my studio. So what we need to do is first of all, press the new track. And then we need to choose this time camera. Okay, you can see here, I have a green screen in the back here, but it's actually been replaced by track one and two. I can click the color circle in the corner to make some changes if I want to. And here I can turn off chroma key and there you can see my green screen, but we need it on. And then I can adjust the colors and the sensitivity if I want to. So if you've got a blue screen here, you would drag that color bar up to the blue and then change the sensitivity. Now I'm gonna leave this as the default because that seems to be quite nice. So now I'm gonna click done. I don't want all that background in my image. So what I can do is pinch the video to move that into the right place. Okay, there we go. Now what I need to do is record my green screen footage. So now I can press the record button, place myself in the video, and then finish the video off. Hi everyone, this is a demonstration of green screen on the iPhone and the iPad. This here, you can see, is a live picture. And then we need to press the stop button. And now we can look at the video, we can go back and have a look. There's preview. And once you're happy, you can click done. And we can save it to the camera roll or we can export it to another application. Now what I recommend you do now, because when we play this, you're gonna see the rest of the video, you can see me turning the video off. So what you need to do is just import this in maybe into iMovie and just adjust that last bit. So we're gonna click done here and then we're gonna save it to our camera roll. Now let me go to my camera roll. Here is the video. Now let's play. There you can see, I've now inserted myself into the video, so we've got those three layers of the background, the video, and then me inside the actual recording. So that's using green screen on the iPhone or the iPad. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.